Today, we're going to catch a cab, we're going to go up the ropeway, and we're going to hike to the top of Fugendake. Uh, Fugendake actually used to be the highest point, uh, now is no longer the highest point due to a eruption in the 90s, and there is a higher peak, but unfortunately you can't climb it because it's unsafe, because it is an active volcano. So today, we're going to get up that ropeway, it's about an hour hike to the top of Fugendake, we're bringing the baby, so it may take a little longer, but this should be pretty spectacular. Welcome to Unzen. We made it to the Unzen ropeway. It's a little bit cloudy today, so I'm not sure what kind of views we're gonna see, but let's get up there and take a look. So checking out the mountain information, it looks like that a portion of the trail is closed due to a collapse. And so uh, we're not going to be able to take the railway where we wanted to. Uh, we have about a two hour hike ahead of us. We want to get to the top of Fugendake. So we better get started. So instead of grabbing the ropeway from here up to here and hiking around this way, we are currently thinking about hiking from the ropeway all the way over and around to Fugendake. All right, so it started raining pretty much immediately, but we got an umbrella for the baby and we are in our raincoats and luckily we're under quite a bit of trees and plants and well we're under the trees so hopefully that stops a lot of the rain it's also supposed to rain for only about 10 minutes so uh we got about two hours ahead of us and we're gonna see how far we get i got a couple extra waters out of the vending machine so we should be all set it's pretty beautiful out here Dried squid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should have packed the dried squid. So the baby just fell asleep in the carrier, and honestly, I can't think of a better nap spot. This hike is so serene. There are plenty of benches if you need to stop and take a break or change your baby. And the forest is just so green and lush and full of moisture. It's really spectacular. All right, we are well on our way. So we actually have already hiked from here all the way up to here which has uh, already passed where the ropeway would have taken us. And I think it's only been about maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Now, we're just gonna take a quick trail up to this fork in the road and hike over about 400 meters to the top of Fugendake and we'll see how we get there. <laughs> ¶¶ 
A lot of steps, a lot of stairs, I'm a little out of breath, but we reached the fork in the road and I think it's just a little bit further. So we are now at the fork in the road. We're gonna hike to the right about 400 meters to Vugandake. Here we go, off this way. I don't think we were expecting chains. We are so close. Definitely gets steeper towards the top. We are right there, a little bit further. Uh-oh. We made it. Mount Fugendake, or just Fugendake, because Dake means mountain. Behind me is the new tallest peak, uh, Heisei, which was formed in the early 90s from a volcanic eruption. You can't hike it, and it is a little bit higher. Um, maybe next time we're here we'll hike it, I don't know. But for now, this is pretty good. We got our baby up to Fugendake. And from here, you can see all the way to the ocean and it looks like the clouds cleared up for us a little bit. We have 360 views of just absolutely spectacular scenery and um, yeah this is one I would recommend if you are physically able put your baby in a carrier and get on up here it's pretty awesome. Just the fact that the mountain behind us was created merely from an eruption, I mean, it just gives you a sense of the magnitude and the force at which that happens to cause, you know, the entire earth to create this uh, new mountain, this new peak. It's absolutely stunning. So overall, these trails are really well marked. 
uh, fairly nicely maintained. There's some rocky areas and it gets steep at times, but um, you could definitely bring a baby along and get to the top on this one. Uh, we wore our running shoes, so trekking shoes would be just fine. I think in the winter time, you probably would want to wear hiking boots and maybe even crampons, uh, as some of these rocks probably get pretty slippery. I imagine that once everything around us starts blooming, that the colors are spectacular, but even without that, this was a pretty awesome hike. The weather stayed pretty cool, the sun was nothing to worry about, and uh, it wasn't too hot, not a whole lot of bugs. Um, definitely 10 out of 10 would hike it again. All right, well, we did it. That was Fugendake. Complete. Check. Awesome. There you go. Thank you. Are they statues or are they cats? They're cats. <laughs>